Hit his area with 51. Everything in the butterflies. Go get your man. And I feel like butterfly gonna recap this. So all oh, y'all wanna know what happened. I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. Hey, ha! Welcome to your trying to take over yo. Hey, hey, what up? Trap. You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang, etc., etc. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. You know who I be following me on IG Fighter underscore fly. Tell your mama I said hi. URL outside. You know, I did the, we got the first joint when they did what we thought it was going to be one day. So it's going to be two separate videos for the battles that didn't happen. Shout out to my guy Showtime SP. But before we get into it, you know what I'm saying? I think it's uh, pretty important that I talk about a more serious subject um, in regards to human life, people. You know, we're all people. We have jobs. We have families. We have bills. We have ups. We have downs. Some people have handicaps, all kinds of things that go on. We lose family members, and, uh, you know, it's just what happens in life, you know what I mean? And um, gyms, salute to gyms, and, you know what I'm saying, it, that's one of my people. I rock with gyms, you know what I'm saying? I've met him before. I spoke to him online, offline, things like that. And um, I've watched him go from being someone who was, like, not even really taken serious in battle rap. He jokey, jokey to lie. He was, like, overweight. Things like that, he's turned his whole life around as a father, you know what I'm saying? Trending, he's doing positive things, talking, and then, you know, he works out, he got his life together, got himself in shape, and you know, he's had this Stop Being Dirty movement, and he's been talking <clears throat> a lot, but I seen his name come up, because someone hit me up early and was like, yo, you gotta talk about this gym stuff, and I'm like, what are y'all talking about? And it was a tweet that he put out where he was talking about depression. You know, there's a lot of people who go through depression in this world, you know what I'm saying? And um, people have committed suicide, people have harmed themselves, people go through depression every day, anxiety, PTSD, all types from traumatic experiences or things that go on in life. And um, my boy Jim said, depression don't exist. It's a man-made a man -made term to keep you weak. It is okay to be sad, but for an uncertain amount of time. After that, get up, dust it off, and be great. Or you take your meds and cry that the world is against you. Your choice, but we all get the same 24 hours to be better. <laughs> he got away with it. But he ain't get away with it. Now, a lot of people are taking offense to this. Now, if it was just like a couple people, maybe it wouldn't have stirred up so much, but it has um, 250 retweeted quotes. Like that's a lot of people who are commenting, a lot of people are getting angry and things like that. And you know, while I think his statement, what he was trying to do and what he actually did are two different things. He, pro cause he's, the, the, what, what what got me was, and this is my, so I'm telling him like this, you know what I'm saying? Like, yes, what you said, you was probably trying to motivate people, but the way you were doing it and the way you were saying it makes, it, it offends people. Yeah, but I think this is a situation where he can actually learn from, you know what I'm saying? I hope, if you go through something in life, I would hope that you learn from it. Situations that I've been in through, whether in battle rap or not, I've learned from, but I'm not gonna use paralysis by analysis and try to damage and tear the man down because he made a, it's a stupid tweet. It's a, it, it really is a bad tweet, but it's my man, so I'd rather tell him than condemn him about it. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, like, there's a lot of people who are depressed. Money don't make, money don't always mean happiness. Being famous don't always mean happiness. Being popular, being known, that doesn't always equate to happiness and things happen in people's lives where you have to tear down things and rebuild. I've changed my number in the last couple of years when you got so many people, because the thing is when people see you and they put you in this place, they think that you live in an elaborate lifestyle. So people be hitting me up like, and, and asking, they want to borrow, they want this, they want to, can you lend me, can you, can I hold, it's like a hundred hands out. And sometimes it'd be small, but when it's 15 small hands, it equals a large one. And the thing is, not saying that that could lead to it, but it can really turn you off to people. And there's a lot of things that, and I'm not the only person, I know people in regular life go through situations where, you know, they, can get, they lose a family member, or they go through a situation, they lose a job, someone has a miscarriage, they list so many instances. Um, and so for gyms, I think that uh, it, this could be a lesson where you can really learn from it. And, and you know, there's going to be a lot of hate, vitriol, people going to be talking talk crazy to you. You already know how that goes. This is battle rap. 
but I think you can take the small parts out of it where people are actually trying to inform you and get educated and read too. There's reading too. You can read <coughs> a lot. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and you put move this whole clean, this stop being dirty movement, this protecting your peace. How do you think you protect your peace? You have to. If it's your peace, your inner peace. There are people who will go as far. Make sure they block people. They you know. Uh, will keep people out of their lives, they'll change their numbers because they want to protect their peace. These people that are on the other side of the wall could be the reason why some of these folks are depressed. Jim's you my man. I know that you'll 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 work that out. But uh yeah definitely hit my desk and a lot of people were concerned about the comments that you said. I know you're smarter than this. I know that you know you've made you've said and you've done a lot of good things with your life and you have children too, you know what I'm saying? Even as a father if you, if something happened, I'm a father too. If something happened to one of my children, I don't know how I would be messed up for a while. You see what I'm saying? So think of it from that perspective. But I do get the motivating part that you were trying to say, get up, be better. You have more time in the day. But it was like, it was like delivering a bag of roses, but there was dog shit in the same bag. So you probably had a, you get it? All right, cool. Now let's get outside. All right, you are all outside. Uh, the second half, the other battles, you know what I'm saying? I'm putting all this shit together because, you know what I'm saying? Y'all, y'all, let's do gumbo, you know what I'm saying? Gumbo, we throw everything in the same pot. I ain't cooking two separate dishes and making two separate videos for you motherfucker. Not today. Um, New Jersey Twerk versus Next. Tay Rock versus Stumbles. Shotgun Shug versus Sheet Happens. None None and Chef Trez versus Soflair, Soul, and Foots. Okay, all right, all right. And then uh, Miss Hustle versus uh, my verse is Snake Eyes versus Anderson Burris, Cortez versus Swervo. It's a lot. Of, it's a lot of damn battles going on. But you know what? Uh, this is gonna, probably gonna be an app event only. The app definitely needs content because the shit that's coming out on there right now, I, I'm gonna be honest. That, that, do two more outside. Do outside day three, day four, outside day five. Y'all need to stay outside till you get some more content on this app because right now, nah. Nah, 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 nah. No, 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 sorry. Um, but let's get to the positive. So you got uh, uh, Shotgun Shug versus Sheet Happens. Both are really dope MCs. This is a totally different style of class. Shotgun Shug, uh, been on a tear. Uh, he been winning at a high clip. Sheet Happens is nice, though. I like Sheet Happens. I watched his battle with uh, Kid Chaos. That was one of the more slept on lyrical joints of the year. They was going crazy in that joint. Um, they, both, they both really, really got off. I like She Happens, um, but Shotgun Shug, man, Shotgun Shug be really wild, man, and, and he told me in his live the other day, this is like the first years that he really applied himself. You know niggas stay doing that, you know, they lose for like five years in a row, they're like, yo, I really applied myself this year. I gotta believe him because before this year, I was not really like that with him, but Shotgun Shug, when he came on and he, I started, when you start rapping like that, was because of Shotgun Shug, when he battled, um, you know what I'm saying, Snake Eyes. But, Shotgun Shug been, been winning. He had a five battle with Verb. I did have him winning, but uh, I got Shotgun Shug winning versus She Happens 2 1. Close. Uh, Cortez versus Swervo. Cortez versus Swervo. I seen um, Swervo battle against Tay Rock. He did really good in that battle, even though I had Rock winning. He did really good in that one. Cortez has been around forever. He's still doing his thing. He's battling at a high level. Um, Cortez, outside. But Swervo is from the DMV, so he might be getting a lot of love, let's just say it like that. Um, but he do got punches and he do get busy. If Swervo have a performance like he did versus Rock, versus Cortez, I can see him with a nice little 2-1. But if he has anything less than that, Cortez is winning. Uh, Danny Myers versus J2. Uh, Danny Myers is the bar god. I seen Danny Myers battle not too long. I was at his, um, he battled Cuban. Danny Myers will battle all these new niggas. He'll battle me. He'll battle anybody. Um, but he does bring it. He has lyrics. He has bars. He is the bar god. J2 I haven't really seen recently. The only time I see or hear about him in the last couple months has been on like spaces and shit. You know what I'm saying? No disrespect to that. But I, I just don't, I don't remember the last time I heard him battle. You know what I'm saying? It's no disrespect to him. I like the fact that he, you know, get in the ring, he battle. Oh. Bags and Bodies? Was he on Bags and Bodies? I don't fucking remember. Dog, I swear to God, I don't remember. I think he was. But, uh, yeah, salute to J2. Yeah, he was on Bags I'm bugging. Yes, he was. I'm sorry. Like, no disrespect. I really had to think. He was on Bags and Bodies. So, yeah, I haven't seen him 
in like URL or shit like that in a couple months, but he did do the bags and bodies. Salute to him and everything that he guys are going on. And I, you know, what I'm saying I ride with what he does. You know, what I'm saying as far as with the battle rap shit, I like what he's able to put together. And you know, this will be a real test for him going into it. I have to pick Danny Myers because it's Danny Myers, but this could be a real test to show people that he could really get busy as far as like battling higher level MCs. When you put them against the the guys that are like barely making the roster. The water boy, the, the dude in the ticket booth, he gonna fly by them. But when you put him against some higher, tougher competition, is he gonna be able to survive? Um, Stumbles versus Tay Rock. Why? It's very, I'm like, why? Like, I mean, I understand Rock is probably gonna go clean the whole bottom of the fish tank. Like, he's battling all of the new niggas. Like, he, I see, I, I see. Because he's battling a lot of top tier competition already. So he's just going to swing the block battle every new nigga and, you know what I'm saying, that might be one of his legacy-defining tactics, just battle all the new niggas and uh, get them out of the way too. His last, he had a battle with Kid Slade. Uh, you know, we all know that. I'm not getting into the paperwork party and all that other shit. I thought, if you ask me my thought, I thought, you know, if somebody gives you an angle like that, you got the paperwork, you use it, but I think they drug it out way too long. I think they did too many interviews. I think the shit drug out for three weeks. When Big K did it, he spoke about the shit one time, and that was it. In that one round. He didn't even rap about it for three rounds. He spoke about that shit that one round, kept it encapsulated in one specific instance. That's why that moment went viral. Paralysis by analysis. He paralyzed the situation by putting it in one specific video. Not 35 of them. When you open up Pandora's box and the whole world's talking about it, it, everybody's gonna pick their side and it is gonna be what it's gonna be. And you're probably gonna see Slade again too. You will probably see him again. Um, Cause that's the URL, they, like, they don't give a fuck. Like, <laughs> they can book, they, they, they gonna watch? Book that nigga, I guarantee you they will. Um, him versus Stumbles, now I don't see it. Cause like I said with Stumbles, I got no issue with him personally. I don't know him, I never met him. A lot of these battle rappers, you're thinking like, when you say they gonna win or lose a battle, it's personal. It's like, it's never personal, I don't know these niggas. But, uh, I don't have him beating Rock because it's like I don't he don't be getting through battles like the battles that I be seeing he don't be getting through you know what I'm saying like he had like a battle or two that he got through but I think the shit that's outside of the ring to most is more attractive than the shit that's inside that's like when you see a female and her body's bad and you, she got a cute face you like yeah I want that you go get it and then you find out her, you know what I'm saying she be she she don't she she be wilding you know what I'm saying like she she cut up your car. Throw paint on your shit, slash your tires, wilding for no reason. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, you gotta like the behind the scenes, the the talking heavy. That's great, but the actual wins in battles, they're not happening. But I said wins don't matter a long time ago because they don't. Like as long as you can keep people watching and keep people in um, excited, they're gonna watch. Um, so I got Rock winning. I, I don't really know how how I can do that. Uh, T Top versus Real Name Brandon. Uh, I got T Top winning. No disrespect to real name Brandon, you know what I'm saying? But it's just, I haven't seen it recently, you know what I'm saying? Like, I know he's had some battles, but it, nothing that makes me think that he's going to beat the T-Top that I just saw versus Holmesy the guy. So I got uh, T-Top winning that one, 2-1. Two, 2-1-2, one. Two, one, two, Chef Trez and Nunna versus Safler Soul and Foots. Um, Trez and Nunna is like, a, I don't even know how that combination came about. Safler Soul and Foots, uh, they in from the same area. They battled each other, they know each other well. I got them actually winning because the chemistry. They got, their chemistry is on like 10. They've been together, they be around each other all the fucking time. They probably, these niggas spar with each other, I'm sure they from the same. Like, I don't know all of the fucking groups and cliques and all of that shit, and it's not really my business to. But I know I've seen these niggas in the same place, the same venues, on the same battles all the time. If one battles, the next niggas in the corner, these niggas know each other. They know it, like, they know their shit back and forth, inside and out. Trez and none none. You know, one lives in Atlanta, one's in Carolina. You know, I don't know if they gonna get together and write all of this shit, but it is what it is. Um, I got the the the, the new the new dudes. Um, so Flair Soul and Foots, Miss Hustle versus My Verse. Wow, that was a battle that was supposed to happen like five six years ago. I don't know where how. You know what I'm saying? Like that that My Verse. I haven't seen her on URL in forever. She has had some battles. She battled Cheddar. Um, I seen her versus RX. Things like that. Hustle been on the run and she been really running URL like as from the female side like recently like she been having a lot of battles she battling on Chrome 23 versus Shuni coming up real soon like Hustle's like really in her fucking bag and you coming is my verse coming over to URL like she be at there some events and shit like that but she don't battle there same way when Jazz wasn't battling there niggas ain't really give a fuck it's like you're not battling here so if you're not battling 
you could be around, like, we, yo, you sis, you be around. And I'm, when I say niggas ain't really give a fuck, they say when it comes to the battle rap talk. If you're not battling in three, four years, the niggas don't really care. Like, you can say whatever you want about the MC, but we ain't seeing you. It's about the points that you put on the board. If it's not, if you ain't putting no numbers on the board, nobody cares. You can say whatever you want. Like, even with Daylight, Daylight ain't battled since he battled fucking Rock, like, two years ago. Well, them numbers is still up there. You did great in that battle, but nigga, oh, he battled King Lokes. But on URL, I'm talking about. You did great, but niggas ain't, ain't, ain't gassed off that. Because it's like, yo, you ain't battled since. You got to put numbers on the board. Um, so I got Miss Hustle winning that one. Um, and I feel pretty confident in that pick. My verse will have to be in a really, really, really crazy bag. Because Hustle got the hype. You know what I'm saying? She going to bark on her. Oh, my goodness. You from a sucker's place. They said the battle's outside, well, bitch, i cut your face. Like, oh, come on, oh, my verse, you better be fucking ready, ding, 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 ding. And don't come in there with no, dun, 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 dun. That, that shit that you be, dun, 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 dun. don't come in there with none of that. Because hustles will wild on you. I know you got it, I seen you versus Cheddar, you got kind of busy in that. But, uh, you know, be on your shit. And next, versus New Jersey Twerk, uh, I see what's going on. Uh, Twerk is getting back in his groove, you know what I'm saying? He had a couple battles. I seen him, he, well, he battled Luke Castro. He battled real sick. He just hit 30 to old red, and now he's battling against um, next. If he comes with that, that'd be four straight battles. So, you know what I'm saying? He got to put together some product. Remember that conversation I had about numbers on the boards? He All last year, he put no numbers on the boards the whole year. I fuck with Twerk, you know what I'm saying? We've been cool. We ain't been cool. We cool again. I got no issue with him, you know what I'm saying? Currently. We good, like it is what it is. I listen to nigga music. I see him raising his kids, doing his thing. It's good, you know what I'm saying? But uh, he ain't put no numbers on the board. That, that, that nigga ain't put no numbers on the board. Like, I promise you that. He ain't put no numbers up. He gotta get busy. It's time, you, you know what I'm saying? Like you put it up to what, like, we're gonna say like, if, okay, during the last little quarter of the year, last little bit with the real sick joint and the, the, the Luke Castro and that little, you know, that little pocket right there, that was good, but the whole top half of the year, the whole nine, eight months before, uh, no, nothing. Now, I know you had the accident, you know what I'm saying? I know you had, you know what I'm saying, all type of situations that happened in life. So I'm not saying you didn't do it because um, you couldn't do it. You did it because it didn't happen because of the situations in life. And you're supposed to battle Tori Doe, and I don't know where the fuck she at. She a wall, MIA, I don't know. I ain't heard from her since. So um, you have a chance. It's a brand new year. If you beat next, it'll be four battles in a row. All Twerk really has to do to really win this one is just be himself. Like, if he's himself, he's <laughs> next is not bad. I don't got no issue with next, but next hasn't had a breakout battle on URL, like a really big breakout battle. And if you want to go down the line and I can tell you breakout battles by people, we can do that. But I'm not talking about no little shit that's on the app or like, no, I'm talking about a breakout battle, an easy battling against chess, an easy battling against. Danny Myers, uh, like, I'm talking about shit like that, like a breakout performance where once this battle, where Kid Slade versus a lot of them niggas he battled, you know what I'm saying, even in, you know, in Rock 2, battling them, them, I'm talking about them shits, where you clear the bar and people are now requesting you, that's the thing, are you clearing the bar, yes, you're staying in the class, yes, you are, you're around, but you have to clear the bar, a battle like this could be that moment. You're gonna need some shit because Twerk is gonna wild on you. He's definitely, we already know what he's gonna do. We know what he gonna do, but what are you gonna do? No hate, your battle with Romney was fire, it wasn't on URL. That was a, that, that was, a, that was trending towards breaking out. I ain't gonna hold you, you did phenomenal in that one. I will not knock you, I'm not here to hate on you. Listen, I'll wait on you, but I won't hate on you. I'm here to tell you the truth, and I'm not gonna, I'm not telling you the truth from like a nigga that know you, a nigga that cool with you, a nigga that be around you, truth. I'm telling you the truth. I'm telling you, you need that on URL. If you don't get nothing from this, if they take this whole clip and try to make it me hating on you, get this part right here. You need it on URL. That's all I'm saying. You can get battles, but do you want to be on volume? Do you want to be on small, 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 small room? Do you want to be on caffeine? Or do you want to be with Kathleen? You know what I'm saying? Like, what do you, what do you want to do? This is your moment, your opportunity to get in New Jersey's work. Put your all into it, man. Show us something, man. Show us the difference. If you, if niggas, is, everybody's saying you sound like twerk, show me why you don't. Show me the difference. Is all I'm saying. Show me the fucking difference. If you nice like that, do it, my nigga. Ain't nothing. Snake Eyes versus Anderson Burris. Oh my God, I almost forgot about this one. How did I? Because I didn't see it on the little jump with the names and everything. 
Anderson Burris got to be the greatest promotional <laughs> person in battle rap. Like, his videos is phenomenal. I'm going to play his promotional video for him versus Snake Eyes because it's crazy. Um, on URL is going to be against Snake Eyes, a battle rapper who, for the past seven years, has been recycling and reusing the same round against different opponents. Now, I went ahead and synced together some of these performances just to give you a better idea of what this looks like. Hey, but fuck it, I come to this hood, treat the nigga clean, just to bang his head on the wall like KG before the game. I ain't playing. Your nigga should've talked to you. Cause taking this battle was not at all safe. You can meet my 4-5 again. Piss the whip till you can't talk straight. Just been wild. Cause a nigga known to kick that arm in the leg. Triple the cross face. And I could've killed that nigga with bars. And I had to stash with 0 9 walls. That keeps going for like five minutes, but I'm not gonna make you sit through all that. So when news of this broke last week, Snake Eyes quickly became the face of the environmentalist movement because, let's face it, not even Greta Thunberg's been recycling for seven years. So he's began making appearances on the news and even debating politicians on the benefits of recycling. Hey, what, what have you been doing for fun? Now, I want to battle you one day, but I know you got a gang of niggas, so you know, line them up, you know what I'm saying? However, that all may be coming to an end after this story broke yesterday. And breaking tonight, outrage from the Environmental Protection Agency. Following the news, Snake Eyes is reportedly recycling, quote, trash material. A spokesperson from the EPA sent a statement saying, quote, after conducting a thorough review of the data, we have determined that the majority of the material that Snake Eyes has been recycling is actually trash that should have never been reused. Snake Eyes had this to say in response. I don't understand. Like, like that is ridiculous. Like. So yeah, I'll be battling Snake Eyes on URL on January 29th in Virginia. And I'm just really excited, you know, because I have no idea what he's possibly going to say. Like, oh, some of the best dog, but I get it. Y'all niggas be cooking, but I'm trying to bring, bring more flavor to this shit. Like, I brought my Raven noodle back to that mess <laughs> hall. Snake Eyes is coming off bags and bodies, man. He's been doing his thing. Yes, he did get caught up in this nasty work using the same round three times and shit like that. Uh, I don't know. He probably has addressed it. I haven't seen it, but whatever the case may be. Uh, he shouldn't have done it, but I, I get it. You know what I'm saying? It happened, and like I said, this ain't something that he do all the fucking time. He used that round all the fucking time, but this ain't something that I see him doing in mad joints, so I won't knock him like that. If it never happens again, I look at it as a one-time thing, like I said in my last video. Um... But the thing about Anderson Burr is I've really seen niggas in the comments. When I retweeted his shit yesterday, mad niggas was in the comments was like, yo, he do great videos. I just don't want to see him battle. Like, they don't want to see. That's the thing. You know, I know you're going to see this video. I know you will. But I'm saying, you dare say they don't want to see. they like, I'm not interested. Like, I remember when Daylight was going on his whole rant about the plant and all of that. You're going to have to do whatever you can to break out of that mold. There's been other white people that battled on URL and battled on a lot of other leagues, too. But they really looking at you right now like you just a cameraman. Why are you battling? Like you getting a favor. We're doing a favor because you filmed the battles. Are you a favor or are you a franchise? Or are you somebody that could be used and you could battle in highest of regards? What are you? I think you nice. I never slept on you. I like your moment when you came out in the T-top joint. That's how you talk to the police and things like that. I loved your joint with Dot. I did like that battle. I ain't gonna lie. I liked your battle with Dot. You was good. The dot battle, a lot of people probably ain't see it because they be throwing this shit straight on the app. They don't release y'all battles on YouTube. I don't know why because the general public is not, a lot of the general public is not buying you versus dot. They won't, they will watch it if it's, if it's released on YouTube, but niggas is not going to pay for it. I'm telling you from a nigga that ain't got no affiliation. I'm not, I don't get no, no passes. I don't get no invites. I'm good with that. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. But I'm telling you from that perspective, you know, not the niggas that be, you know, under the armpit. They're going to tell you whatever because that's what, you know, you got to do that. But the streets, they saying they don't want to see you, bro. I'm being honest. Nigga told me that yesterday. What you going to do? You going to barbecue a mildew? What are you going to do? Um, I got Snake Eyes 2-1 because if Snake Eyes lose to Anderson Burris, people go, it's going to be crazy. Like, you can't. You cannot. Absolutely not. In New York? Oh, no, not in New York. In Virginia or wherever, don't matter. In Virginia and, and Tallahassee and, and Rancho Cucamonga, nigga, you cannot lose to Anderson Burris. Um, I will give him that much. But yeah, stranger things have happened. Like in the NFL playoffs, if you made it this far in this video, salute to you for watching. Um, salute to the New York football giants. I ain't talking about no other team because it don't matter. <laughs> I'm here with house money. It wasn't supposed to be. Wasn't supposed to be nothing before in 12. Wasn't supposed to do nothing with Daniel Jones as a quarterback. And oh, wow, well, look here. There's eight teams left, and mine's is one of them. 
whoop the fucking do. Would you believe that? We were supposed to be so trash. Oh yeah, y'all trash. Tim Jones is horrible. Y'all gonna be fool. Y'all the NFC least. Whoop de whoop de whoop. And there's eight teams left, and mine's is one. Ain't no fun when the rabbit got the motherfucking gun.